is that you karibu sana to another tutorial i hope you learned something new i hope you watch till the end and if you learn something new make sure you comment down below and i will see you at the end of this video what you actually want to do you want to layer your mouth the bottom lip and i went in with 2h and on the shadows um as you can see where it's getting a bit darker i used 6b and 2b to actually make the transitions a bit smoother and you can use a brush or a blending stamp or even tissue to blend the graphite out together and you can use a mono eraser to pull your highlights out which is really nice because i also use the same technique on the crown of each tooth and at the bottom of each tooth um, I used 2B to get the really um, dark shadows as well next to the gum and um, you also want to for the teeth it's I found it helpful if I went in with a blending stamp to mark around the boundaries if that's um, that's how you say it and yeah you want to do in terms of shading um at the gums again is go in on your shadows i went in with pencils varying from 6b to b and even like the lighter areas i went in with f and 2h and you actually see i'm actually leaving some spaces when i'm shading looking at my reference photo where the light is hitting um the gums so you also want to keep on looking at your reference photo while you're shading you can use um a blending stamp to blend it out or tissue or a cotton bud so i found actually helpful in terms of shading of the teeth so that it doesn't look too mm, cartoony if that's a word um i went in with a blending stamp used a moon eraser to pull out the highlights and at the boundaries which i found very key was using a blending stamp to actually um give it that illusion that it's just blending with its with itself <laughs> The fingers I actually went in with um hb because they are relatively um dark even on the reference photo so i went in with hb i layered it with hb just holding at the tip like the back tip <laughs> of my pencil so that it's not too dark and even like on the shadows of um the fingers itself i went in with 2b 3b and just looking at my reference photo even like on the nail 
on the nails i actually ended up pulling um highlights uh just using my mono eraser which was really helpful thank god for mono erasers because <laughs> i remember when i did have a mono eraser it was actually very hard to do so if you don't have um please you can try um get a mono eraser and if you need someone who can get you a mono eraser i know the shops that i can link you to it down below especially if you are from kenya so yeah <laughs> You can actually use tissue to blend out the graphite you have laid um, on the fingers and that was actually really helpful. So you can actually see on the left side it looks very blended out and I'm repeating the same procedure on the right. Yeah. shading of the fingers was actually very difficult for me it took um a while for me to actually get it and i'm actually still working on my transitions it's not my strongest suit yet but in practicing i hope i will actually continue getting better and i also feel i have um let me say quote unquote a fear in terms of going too dark um in with my pencils and so that's something I'm working on and also my transition. So you know what? You can also work on it if you have a problem. And yeah, we are in this together and hopefully we are going to get better together. Yeah. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you learned something new. Um, actually for the top lip what I actually ended up doing was um, just looking at my reference photo again where the shadows were, I went in with 2B and 5B as well 
and actually ended up also layering um the whole top lip with hb and actually using tissue to blend it out and for any highlights that were on the top lip i just used a mono eraser and if you want a place and if if you have been looking for a place to get a mono eraser in nairobi or in kenya um there's a link down below and hopefully that can help you and karibuni sana and i hope you will stay tuned for another video and i will see you next week